Greetings, I'm Faleg and today we are going to be wiping the floor with aliens in the name of the Emperor, for Terra and uh, his glorious name. Hey, hi, hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Warhammer 40,000 Armageddon. Today we are having a very difficult looking mission, we have to destroy all key orc artillery units. And uh, that's basically those guys, they have this special double school strength thingy and they are most likely a very, very annoying fuckers that we will have trouble killing. So basically we have to destroy all the super cannons. So this is the, that guy, that guy, those two, this one. There is... Uh, that's an anti-aircraft gun, we don't care. This is another siege battery, another siege battery. And here, and here. So yeah, basically we have to cover the whole map, clean it from the orcs, come and uh, kill them all. So, uh, alright, let's deploy. We have the enemy fortifications right here. So that's what we are going to have to take care of first, uh, without a doubt. Let's have my infantry ready in position so that they can take the uh, reinforced ground. We will have our Ogrins uh, work as the main plant force of attacks. We will of course support them with the Madrasas because goddammit. And my own artillery is going to be following closely in kind and bringing the pain to the enemy. We have 3000 requisition points and uh, two units which we can buy. So let's get ourselves a vehicle. We need a command. So this is going to be Salamander command which we are going to buy. It's a commander but in Salamander so it's not going to be, uh, you know, dying crazily like that for no reason. And I think we might, might uh, want to get the, our Ogryn squad veterans back. They are very useful units. Who can lead the charge? That's right, motherfuckers. So yeah, we have 2,000 requisition points left over, which so we can and will uh, reinforce our units during the match, during the uh, mission, and uh, hopefully, if we have casualties, we can even replace them. All right, so let's go. As usual, first thing I want to do is to uh, use my own artillery. to fuck up with the enemy artillery before they have a chance to actually attack us. And that, in this particular case, is also completing one part of our objective. We have 25 turns, so no real hurry. But it's always good to be able to do it. What's, what's with those bombers? Oh, so you are the melee attackers. Well then, fuck it, I think I'm going to have my tanks uh, take uh, good care of the squiggots before the actual attack happens. So the Gretchins are out of the loop right now. One survived. Oh, fuck you. Come on, we need to melee attack the tank pastas because they are very good anti-armor unit. Let's make sure that they can't uh, get into any anti-armor ideas, right? Now we have the bomb, uh, our own bombers who can't get rid of the vehicle. Let's get that done. They are just, you know, the hive gangers. Why we don't care if they live or die? We actually prefer them to die because if after the war the streets are going to be cleaner. That's the sad truth. Now, our infantry can take care of the Gretchins and the Shooter Boys are best engaged hand to hand. So let's have uh, you take care of the Grot Tank. You, my dear, you will not let the Orc shoot us shoot. That might be a good idea. And the Salamander Command now takes care of the tank pastas. They are now completely without reinforcements and we don't care 
not all about them. Who is that? Oh, seriously. Oh, you are you. Okay. So that is very fortunate for us, and we can use it to our advantage. Uh, I'm going to just put my heavy boulders in the forest so they can go against the tank pastas in the south. So we can overtake the next position, which is the north, the most important one. I may have to actually divide my forces. First or siege battery destroyed. I know, I noticed. So is that the end of the turn? That's right, attack the hive gunkers. Do this for me, orcs. After that you can do my laundry and uh, wash the floors in the hi uh, whole hive city. But actually I shouldn't say it because I might actually do it with blood because they're orcs. And the hive gangers are down. Our ogres are getting hit by the tank pastas, that's fine. I will have to reinforce and resupply them however. It's very important that we move uh, at full speed ahead but it is also important that we let the, the important things happen first, in this case that being, uh, you know, surviving. Okay, you guys must absolutely reinforce, but I can set you after the boys over here. Oh yeah, open fire! I don't really want to get my Lemon Rasses near the tank pastas because uh, I have my reasons, okay? Now we need the mega tank to be taken care of. And that didn't happen right away. But that's why we have the bombers for. Oh no, they suffered such horrible, horrible casualties, the dismemberment, corpses and death everywhere. Oh no. Bye bye, tank. I enjoyed this much more than I should have. Now, the Salamander Command is going to be doing very well against the Gretchins. But your point is being the Grot tank. You must go down and swim with the fishes. Now, Ogrin veterans are. God damn it, going to have to sacrifice themselves. Yet, yeah, no. I'm going to send the, my veterans against the tank pastas so my actual tanks can do something useful for a change. go, there will be some resupply needed, but we can take cover in those ruins, set the command after that, and the infantry in positions. Artillery is good where it is. And let's have my tanks attack the tank pastas. Can I summon more units please? Okay. All right, I have to end the turn. Okay, we are looking at our first casualties. If I can't do anything about it, but I think we will be able with our lemon rasses. That's fine. While our bombers are very effective against the enemy artillery, so is my own artillery, so I don't really give a fuck about them. What I do give a fuck about, however, are my ogrins, whom I want to be at perfect tip-top shape at all times. Even though they are prone to taking heavy, heavy casualties, Let's get 
infantry in position. And the enemy armors are a non-factor soon. There we go. Fuck you, shoot boys. You get reinforced. And you get deaded. That's the only way. And speaking of which, that actually allows me to put in a very, very important thing. Another artillery. We have uh, uh, less severe infantry force right now, but that's uh, very, very not important right now. If we lose any more troopers, then we can worry about it. But right now, it's fine. Let's uh, destroy the Gretchins. Ogre veterans definitely need a resupply and reinforcement. They're going to die otherwise. Let's give them the freedom of mind to actually get it happened for them. Now. Th we are taking care of the enemy heavy guns because we need to get to the battle fortress and kill it. Because we need to destroy the artillery fortifications that are right next to it. That's... Uh, a little unfortunate, but what can we do? And we are using this very moment to resupply since those Gretchens are completely unimportant right now. Who else could shoot? You can shoot those Gretchens, that's fine, fair enough. Off we go, because we all... Oh! Oh no! It's coming to me! Fuck no! Well, but on the, oh, that's, uh, that has a good side. The good side is I can basically just uh, pummel it from above and below. That's going to not kill it, but it will cost it so, uh, a lot of uh, its supplies, making it uh, less dangerous to my own forces. Even though less dangerous is in this case a uh, uh, rather moot point. We got the enemy heavy cannons out of our way. And holy shit, this is going to hurt. Did you guys see that thing? We only managed to kill one. With all our artillery. Okay, you guys get the resupplied, then you are going to get the reinforced, then you are going to get resupplied next turn. We are running low on requisition and we do have to reinforce the second dog green squad as well before we move on. Yeah, yeah. But the good news is I think my artillery can actually take it down now. Oh, whoops. Undo! I thought you still can attack. Again, we can start pummeling on the second squad because those guys are on red, which means they are not very combat ready or effective. Which means we don't have to care about them at all. The reinforcement. So do you, but really fuck you. You are out of my hair. Okay, I will not attack the uh, rune herds because they are probably going to eliminate me like a little bit that uh, I feel like right now.
let's get the command near Le Mans. And the infantry can shoot regimes, I don't care. Or actually, the better idea would be to resupply it, but fuck it. Okay, we get the bombers. Those are the ones we actually want to keep. And end turn. We lost the infantry, can't replace. Fuck it. They are free to just run away now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to eliminate the enemy artillery without actually getting close to Rundherd so they can go fuck themselves. That's what I'm gonna do. While in the meantime, simultaneously, I'm going to send my uh, Ogrins to kill the artillery up there. And have the infantry take care of the Gretchins. You can take care of the Shutas. You can take care of the gun wagon. Support and reinforce. While my second strike team is going to be moving in to eliminate the siege batteries on the other side. The only thing that we actually need to get done for that is uh, well, our people need to get there. And that seems to be doing the trick. We are about to lose Aleman to the uh, runes, so I hope I can just uh, retreat from that uh, right now. Thanks. Is that it? No. There we go. I can now go away. And so can we, so can we over here. Well, fuck it, I do have to get rid of the gun wagon. I do have to reinforce the O'Greens before they can move on. But uh, generally, I can, I think we are pretty much done over here and we can move to the second side. Which is generally very good for me because that way I will not have to lose my lemon races and that's good. You get reinforced still and you start moving. You already moved. Yeah, while this is not the exact thing that I was hoping for, we are getting shit done nonetheless. And uh, we are actually taking uh, less casualties than I was afraid we would. Now, how do we get around the war boss? Well, I will send my two artilleries to do it. That's what they are for. Now, you guys get yourselves reinforced. Check for rabies and shit. And we have to move around the root herds. And eliminate those scratches now that they are close to our, our artillery. This is perfect. This is perfection incarnate. Now the runes are pretty much stuck where they are, they can't get out, or they die. And we can now lead an attack. And that is hopefully going to do the trick, however, you know. in here. 
here we can keep reinforcing those guys who are you, you already moved, no wait, you can actually shoot, but that's not doing anything, so why, why bother? And you are in reinforced position, and that attack was actually very useful for me, there we go. So yeah, we are split uh, and, oh no! We are in the sight of rune herds with our heavy bolter. That's why that's why I was saying oh no. That's because it's not good. This fucker is big and he's scary. And now that the war boss is eliminated. Are we able to get in here? No, but we can just kill the gun wagon, so that's okay. Okay, we are pretty much done on this side, we just have to move and take care of this and this cannon, while our second column, the column takes care of other problems. Now, you can now just GTFO. So yeah, we pretty much have taken care of the gun wagon. that our infantry destroys the siege battery and the ogre veterans allow our bombers to get closer to the target and our artillery of course who is actually doing the killing over here because they must get over here and destroy this cannon while our second column marches on the cannons to the north And all that while avoiding the runes. Because those guys are insane. Now we will use the moment to reinforce the ogres. I know that the battle isn't over yet. You are still in my so fuck you. We got the command. Artillery can take care of the anti-aircraft guns. And we are moving out, they can't really do anything to the armored column like that, the uh, rune herds are now completely out of the equation, they can just chill. Yeah, we need to get through the war boss however, and that's the job for the Steel Legion Infantry, who, uh, who are going to make the war boss tired so that the ogres can get in and kill it. Okay, Battle Fortress is going to be an issue. And it must be dealt with. The best way to deal with it is to uh, soften it up with artillery and then mercilessly attack. Actually, that doesn't do shit. Yeah, those guys can just chill, I don't care. Okay, so we are moving through the enemy formation. And I don't think we are going to need anything else. The anti-aircraft guns are not an issue. The battle fortress is shooting the bombers, which is great. I love it the way it is. And now it's time to end the enemy suffering. Boom! That's the best part about artillery, they can just fire and uh, soften the enemy up while the main force does the killing. Now those guys are inside of the runes so they might be in a little bit of a pickle, but uh, let's hope everything will be fine. Now you my friends are coming for the artillery cannon, you've got some Gretchens to kill, you need reinforcements, you need reinforcements. And you, yeah, you are getting down just one more, one or two turns more, and we can actually take care of that. Lemanras is gonna die to the shooter boys. No other choice. Though. Okay, 
our artillery may, may need the resupplying sometime soon. Yeah, yeah, you just resupply. You can't. You can't. You can just resupply. You defend yourselves. There we go. Okay, our artillery needs to uh, get shit uh, taken care of right now. Or we will suffer. And speaking of suffering, the rude boys did take a chunk out of my infantry. Here we are on the uh, next cannon right now. You guys uh, need to get shit done, get yourself checked. You absolutely have to take care of those guys right now. It's non optional. And then my artillery needs to get uh, itself refueled, checked for herpes and everything else. Right, uh, yeah, you guys are practically useless right now, but I have to keep, I don't want to just sacrifice them because of experience. Same goes for you, but I can't really re uh, retreat with you anyway. Yeah, now you're inside of the runes, that's not good. Yeah, it's not good. But hey, that's okay because that follow is simply, you know, holding the line while we move in to do important things. And those important things include attacking, attacking, and some more attacking. That should do the trick, and we are on the last cannon over here. And then, if we can't go through, get through, we will need to deal with the orcs battery from the south uh, with a northward attack, if necessary. I'm just hoping that uh, my southern artillery can get there. They just have to get like here to do it, so we have to just punch through those guys. Which is easier said than done, of course, considering that we have to deal with the Battle Fortress to do it. Yeah, not so cool. But we can take the war boss out, so that's important. Okay, so that's another move on the step to victory, especially that we have taken care of the flag Battle Fortresses, ammunition and supplies. They are now completely drained. And that will allow... The Ogrin squad... To get in and take care of the anti-air cannon, that's very important. Yeah, you fuck yourself. You save yourself. We need a moment to resupply before we continue. Resupply, you resupply, I don't care about you too. You can take that point. We are moving in close on the enemy. Except this infantry must is now out of the game. And the ogres will be soon as well. And the artillery needs a resupply, which is just fucking dandy right now, isn't it? Okay, I will be able to start bombarding the cannon soon. Just might as well uh, not put myself in the 
anti-air cannons range. Let's get rid of the Taka cannon. Please die, Battle Fortress. Just please, just die. Okay, our tank busters are going to eat Le Mans for breakfast. That's just sad, but unavoidable. You don't matter. You can resupply so you don't bother me. Yep, end of turn. Oh! Not my all greens. Boom, there we go. We got this. We need to get actually move to the south in here, if, if we are to get anything done, because we can't uh, attack them from afar. We can't cross the river in, in short, so that was a huge mistake on my part to even try. But the artillery is in position to get rid of that cannon, which is important. Okay. needs to get the FO. Bye bye veterans, it's been fun. Yeah, our artillery simply needs to resupply. Can't get around it. And that means the southern attack has been completely stopped and that's not good. That's for you. Can't help you. You can cross from here, that's good. Okay, not all is lost. Once we take care of the artillery to the north, we can move to the south and uh, reinforce the attack that just completely collapsed right now. No! Up. You can't kill my lovely babies. Okay, you are stuck in here. Find an attack. That was just horrid. And yeah, we got the northern guys. But we lost artillery to the tank busters, that's horrible. We need to get a move on, uh, even if it means casualties. Yeah, I know where the last one is, I don't have to find it. Yeah, it costed us a lot to save ourselves. But the tank busters paid for it. Finally, now our way is open and unguarded, and we can just get through and get shit done. We just have to, of course, cross our artillery through the river, which is not going to be fun. But once we do that, we can simply take care of the orc battery, and with casualties, once more, we can make it. But damn, those casualties were great. If we have five turns remaining. That battle is a horrible, horrible slaughter for us. We don't like it at all, I must say. Take care of the big shooters. We take care of the anti-aircraft cannon. The big shooters are basically like our heavy bolter, but uh, you know, shittier because they're orcish. So, they need to be taken care of first. There we go, the anti-aircraft cannons are down, and the only thing that stop is standing between us and the siege battery is uh, a lot of dead people. We do not have a 
target in here. This is for you, Lehman. And the objective has been accomplished. Almost. And the objective has been accomplished. In the name of the Emperor, the victory is ours. However, we paid for it greatly. Very greatly. And the even greater still are our casualties. However, we have achieved the victory. The enemy artillery is dead and uh, the Hive city is safe once more. Let's proceed. Good, Commander. You have dealt the Orc Warlord a severe blow. Hades will stand much longer now we have destroyed the siege batteries, before the accursed things were even operational. Destroying the flak guns as well is a great boon. Although the skies will never be safe as long as the orcs are here, we can at least capitalize on the lull you have created to begin an evacuation of non-essential personnel to Asheron Hive. Emperor willing, the shuttles should get away unmolested. I want you and your men on the last void ship. Take that useless commissar of yours with you. He is useless, isn't he? Let's see. Okay, so we have two choices. We can either go or we can stay. Yeah, let's go. I don't like this guy. His eye is freaking me out. Hey, this is doomed to fall, but at least now we have a small frame of time to evacuate. Come with us, Commissar. The rest of Armageddon could use your leadership. No, I stay, along with a few other brave souls ready to commit their lives to the Emperor. I gave my word that Hades will not fall. I don't intend to break it. Now go. Asheron will doubtless be under attack soon. I need someone mildly competent there to help defend it. You surprised me, Commander. The crucible of war often fashions great men out of the shoddiest materials, and maybe you're one of them. Thank you, sir. I'm glad to be the shoddiest material. Kill them! Kill them all! Hello, Commander. You do get around, don't you? Alas, this looks to be the end. You have my personal good wishes in the impending engagement. Please forward them on to the citizens of Asheron. I send a gift of 20 of my personal bodyguards. I've had enough of their chuntering about a lack of action, so I send them to you. Station them on the front gates, and ensure they are the first to see the action they crave. I would send the Emperor's blessings, but I can't see how that will help. Farewell. He's an asshole, isn't he? He looks like a potato. Yet again, Commander, I am forced to question your motives. You have taken us from one hopeless situation to the next. At least in Hades Hive, we were operating under the auspices of Yarrick. How can we affect things here? The orcs are striking in greater numbers than we have ever seen. By the light of Ophelia, look! They're coming! Commander, order the men to defend the Hive! Well, look who's brave now. I find your pessimism trying, Commissar. Let us take Yarrick's example. He inspired us, and in turn, we inspire the men of Asheroth. That's Captain more Caron. like it. Colonel Caron, it's good to see you again, Commander, and your Commissar. After we separated, my men and I made for Asheron. The season of fire comes. Even the Orcs will struggle with the conditions then. And there are reports that the warp storms are a... Here they come! Get ready! Okay, so here they come. We are now defending the Hive Acheron from the enemy orcs. Control at least 5 victory points at the end of this scenario. That's going to be in the next episode. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If so, let me know in the comments, like the video, follow me on Facebook and Twitter and so on and so forth. And I will see you again in the next episode if the Emperor is winning. For now, thanks for watching and bye bye.